uh, middleware allows us to run code before a request is completed or executed and based on the incoming request you can modify the response by either rewriting it or redirecting it or modifying the response header so middleware it's where you actually you can you receive an incoming request and we may need to actually perform a certain uh, operation on a request before it's sent to the specific root or endpoint where the logic is supposed to be executed and when a response an outgoing an inc outgoing response comes in when it passes through the middleware you may decide to rewrite it or modify the request before it heads to the front end so that's what the middleware does it serves as a mid a bridge between the front end and the back end code so some of the operations that um are implemented in the middleware in backend engineering because middleware is not predefined only in Dart. It's actually common in most of the backend languages. And one of them is authentication and authorization. So middleware can verify things like user's authentication token before processing an incoming request and ensuring only authorized users can access the resource. Also in the middleware, you can log incoming requests and outgoing responses. It's also used to modify um, or enhance uh, incoming request data, as I had explained before. So it's important for request transformation if you need to transform a request and also transform re a response. Middleware can also implement caching mechanisms to store and retrieve frequently requested data. And also the middleware can enforce rate limits on incoming requests to prevent abuse or just excessive usage of resources. And another thing the middleware can do is catch errors that occur during request processing or provide consistent error responses so now that we understand what a middleware is or the general understanding let's proceed to create our middlewares or our middleware in our project so let's create our first middleware so you can have more than one middleware so we just want one at the center or in the root directory so just head over to our new our terminal and we'll proceed to create a new middleware to create a new middleware you just run that frog create new middleware and we want it at the root we will create more middlewares within the root directory but we just want one that will be directly in the root so just press enter and it, it will create for us the middleware um, dot dot. So inside here, it comes with predefined code. Um, it has a function called middleware. So the name of the function, it holds, first you need to understand that the middleware that dot dot holds a function and the function is called middleware. And this function takes a parameter of type handler. So what a handler is, a handler is basically a function which handles a request via the provided context or the, this context we are referring to the request context, the request that's coming in. And this function, the middleware function returns a value of type handler as you can see so the beauty of this uh, in the middleware what you can do you can also specify other middlewares that you may need to use and one common one is the request logger so we, for you to actually in inject it what you have to do is call the use method and inside the use method you just basically call request logger simply simply as that so the request logger what it is it's just a middleware a def defined middleware which prints the time of the request the lapse time for the inner handlers and the response status code so basically that's what it does and we can try and do that let's just try and push a request and see how it works so if we push a request like one of the uh, call items if you press enter yes it prints out successfully but what i want you to see is what is printed out 
on our terminal so I'll just expand this so if you come over here you're able to see at the bottom that the request uh, the time that the request was sent is actually displayed and that's what the request logger does so you we inside this uh, file we can actually call other pre-existing middlewares inside it that can that have already been created like the request logger i don't need to create another class or another or any logic that will handle logging the requests that are coming in and it also prints out the response status code which is 200 and also the method which is get great so for a middleware um, in this process we're just trying to understand where the middleware can be put we can also create a middleware inside the list folder that has a specific logic based on this um, specific root but for now we're just creating this and this uh, file will actually expand as we go because there are certain things that we need to incorporate um, in this uh, in the middleware before our request is actually processed as we have talked about some of the implementations that are done in the middleware some of them will end up implementing them here but i was just giving an example of one existing middleware that is used which is a request logger all you have to do is inject it using the use method and it will be able to print out the time of a request has come in the request header the method and the status code and such things so let's proceed to look at dependency injections